Today I'm up potting some of my cabbages. You can see they've got, got to be, this one's really tall, but I'm gonna put them in a bigger pot. I like this little thing that I've been using last year and this year because you can push on the bottom so you can kind of easily push out, pop out the, the soil. And you can see on the bottom, see some of the roots poking through there. I'm about to turn that one over. So we're just gonna put them, put them down in their next little pot. I'm gonna add a little bit of dirt on top. And then this one can continue growing in this pot until it gets big enough for me to plant in the garden. This is a better example than the one I was showing you a minute ago that you can kind of see all those wonderful little roots there where the cabbage is growing.
I was making a pie this morning, and when I made some extra pie crust, I thought I'll just go ahead and also, in addition to the pie, which is a cream pie, I'll go ahead and make me some little hand pies to put in the oven. Really simple, just to kind of fill them. I, I tried to go through the refrigerator and see what I had in there that was open, so I've used all my blueberry jam that was open, and now I've got some apple butter I'm going to fill these with. It's really a cold day outside today. It's in the... Um, was 23 when I got up and it's not warmed up much so these will be really really a, a nice warm treat so you can you do my filling for me I'm gonna put A spoon and a knife and get some sugar in. Spoon and a knife? Yeah. So I want you to put... Yeah, that's fine. I want you to put me a little pat of butter, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of cocoa right there. Right here. I can do that. I guess I'll make three of them. In case y'all want one too. To be... Uh, Maybe it'll be okay because I'll this is what I do. Let Corey be my hands for me. Just a little bit in each. Okay, and a little bit of cocoa. Okay. Ready for the oven. delicious mm, that's the chocolate one looks really good I'll eat that one let's see if we can tell which is a blueberry one this one mm, look at those wonderful blueberries in there come from last summer when me and Corey made blueberry jam
it. Yep. So anywhere you you know more than I do. Like if this part right here is too steep, then maybe out there or maybe down here. Yeah, well, I, I, out here you could do one. I mean, I think we could do one here too, yeah. but I, I, uh, we could do one out here. It might actually straighten this up a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but, uh, this yeah, way. yeah, as far out through there as you can put it, I'll be happy. Okay. Yeah, as far as you can put it out through there. Alright. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would be, I mean, I know it gets really steep down there, but just as far as you feel like it would work. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Um, through here and all the way down through there, even on the other side of uh, gonna, where the big log are is. Are you going to do like you've done on this um, one? I don't know if we'll do that or if you just... If I dig it out flat enough, yeah, just to... Okay, so yeah. that'd be preferable just to dig yeah. it out. Yeah, if you just dig it out flat, if we do that, or if it, it just, if it'd be easier just to, you know, well, build I, something straight up. Yeah, well, I'd say that wouldn't be easier if we can dig it out flat. That would yeah. be the easiest. Yeah, but that would be easier. I just didn't know what kind of yeah. look, you yeah. know, you used to Oh, I, ain't, I don't worry about the, you can tell by this place, I don't worry about well, the Well, we run it. I, I worry about the, uh, <laughs> the, food, yeah, the right. food that comes out of it. I don't worry about how it looks or I do. I'd have to get somebody else to come fix it for me if I did. So I just worry about what it grows. So, yeah, but a flat one would be. We could build up like we've done with these, or we could do, you know, metal or whatever. Yeah. So if it was flat. Right. Yeah. I'll come back here and start on this one. And we'll see. Yeah. The gentleman that's doing our bank, clearing off our bank, he's a longtime family friend, uh, almost like a member of the family, really. And I remembered once we got him to come um, say that he was going to do the bank. During that time, I was looking for a photo of me and Matt to use in a video that I did. And while I was looking at old photos, I come across one of Thomas when he was a little boy when he was down at Pap and Granny's. So since he's here today working, I want to find that picture and give it to him. I want to give it to him. I know that he would really, really appreciate it. So it's somewhere in this photo album. I don't remember exactly where. There's Pap. This is Christmas morning. So long time ago. Paul's really young. I'm really young. There's, uh, that's a good one. That was my room at Grant Pap and Granny's. Even then, Matt had his gun, and looks like that's the, uh, what's the name of that magazine? He's the backwoodsman. He still gets that. There's some little trick-or-treaters, little cousins trick-or-treaters. Somewhere in here. Oh, oh, here's deer camp. This is the deer camp that Matt hunted at for a long time. You see pr some of Granny's pretty zenas right there. That now is our driveway, <laughs> so that's interesting. Uh, here's a funny one of me and Matt. And a funny one you don't see very often, Matt in a suit. We must, that may have been Easter or something, going to church, that's at Granny's too. Some of Pap and his brother Ray and Paul and Perry singing at the folk school. Mm -hmm. Here's my, ne my oldest nephew, Ben. He was the one and only for a while, and you can see he was spoiled rotten. Here, I was crazy about snow even then, snowing. There's Matt's truck and Pap's old car. Pap and Granny sitting with the only grandson at that time. Oh, look how sweet Ben was there holding on to Frosty. Oh, here's a great one. Look at Matt. Now that was a hard day of work. <laughs> he was muddy from his head, from his hat to his feet. Well, this was me and Matt in our horse riding days. That was midnight and that's Dugan. Pretty little calf. Me in a cowboy hat. That was Matt's hat. We still have that hat, too. Mm. Camping trip. There's me by the fire. I guess we've been trout fishing, because there's some little trout. <laughs> and Matt being annoyed at me for taking his picture, probably. More camping. We got to camp a lot in those days. We hope to do that again. 
This is Pap and his daddy, Pap, my Papa Wade, Henry, Ray, and Carrie, daddy's family, Pap's family. And there they are playing music back in the day. Oh, this was interesting. This was the blizzard, the blizzard of 93. You can see it buried my car. Look at my big 80s hair. That was probably, well, I guess that was a little maybe. That was maybe in the 90s hair. Anyway, here's my days at Lake Logan. And here, finally, is the picture of Thomas that I was hunting for. It wasn't he so cute. Look at him with his cowboy hat on and his overalls. So exciting. I'm watching Thomas out the window. He's building some of the beds, the terrace beds on the, on the bank for us. Uh, they've got the bank all cleared off this morning, so that's done, and now he's working on that. So exciting for me. Now, a lot of people in my last video, when we actually showed them working on the bank and clearing it, um, I, I think they kind of thought that we would terrace the whole bank. We can't really do that. It's hard to picture on, I mean, hard for it to actually show up on camera, but in real, in real person, if you were here, pretty much like where he's digging right now, behind that, is straight up i mean literally straight up it's just straight up so it'd be really difficult to build more than the first terrace like we did the blackberry bed but that's what he's doing for me now he's going to build them um, which he's not we'll have to do a lot of work he's just scooping out the place but he's going to do that as as far as he can down the driveway um, and it's so exciting he's already built one on the other side of the blackberries back in the back of the house so really, really great. A lot of people uh, talk, ask about building steps. So we will have to do something when you think about climbing up to those. But as far as building steps straight up the bank, again, it's just literally straight up. It's what we would say here in the mountains, steep as a mule's face. It really is. But so exciting that he's... He's scraping out those little places that we'll be able to, with a lot of work, we're still going to have some work and figure out how we're going to build the beds and and exactly how we're going to uh, contain the dirt in them, whether we're going to use logs out of the woods like we've done in the past or maybe metal or I don't know what we're going to do. But so exciting to actually have this done. Now that I've got the cabbage, our cabbage plants in larger containers, I've been bringing them out every day and setting them in the sunshine on the back deck. It's kind of protected a little bit here. It's, I'm still not leaving them out overnight, but I have been moving them out here during the day when the sun's shining.
And you can see on these, if you can see right there, the next little leaf is beginning to, beginning to grow. So another couple of weeks and I should be able to put them out in the garden.